In this video, we're gonna go through the basics of chopping. So one of the most important skills to have in the kitchen. A sharp knife is really important and it may sound bizarre, but a blunt knife is far more dangerous because it will slip and slide off the surface of an onion or whatever you're chopping and you're more likely to get cut. So a good sharp blade, nice thick handled knife, and how to start this, how we hold the knife is really, really important. So with our first two fingers, we pinch the blade and our three fingers will wrap around the handle. Why we do this, we have a grip on the blade, we have a grip on the handle, and it's a nice firm hold on the knife itself. So we'll always go with this, we we'll won't have any fingers below the blade, because that's how you lose them, and we won't have any down here, because it's too flimsy and the knife could slip. So we'll keep a nice firm grip on our knife itself. When we're chopping on the board, so anything that rolls or moves can be dangerous. So the first step always is to nice and safely get a grip in it and cut it in half. So then we can put it on its belly. Well, if it's an onion, if it's bell pepper, if it's any veg or anything you're chopping, face down on the chopping board itself. It won't slide, it won't move, it'll stick to the board, and that's what we want. When we're on the board itself, with our left hand or whatever hand is not holding the knife, we'll always curl our fingers back. So our blade, the flat of our blade will always stick to our knuckles and slide up and down on number one. So when we're on the board, what it looks like is our knife just following between knuckle one and knuckle two. We're not gonna go up and over our hand. We're not gonna keep our fingers straight like that. So for example, if we chop the onion, put it on its belly like so. If I'm chopping, I'm following my knuckle and I'm just sliding my fingers back. You'll get to a certain stage where it might not be very steady. Lock it on its belly once again. Curl your fingers nice and slowly. Follow your knuckles. knock it again and then zip through it. So take your time when you are chopping, there are tons of different techniques that you can do. Take it slow to start, once you get better you can go faster and it's gonna be really handy in the recipes to follow. 